Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yara's Clips. I remember the last time I met you, you spoke about a ritual you had done where you had to become very cold for some time. I'd love for you to share that anecdote with the audiences because it seems like it was a version of torture. But now I'm understanding it might have been some sort of a tantric ritual you were doing for the sake of your spirituality going forward. I mean, I knew this then. I just have the words to explain myself now. Okay. So what was that? And what did it do to you? What happened at the end of it? Okay. Um, the practice is called uh, Tumo. Tumo. Uh, and it is part of the six yogas of Naropa. Naropa was a great uh, Indian uh, Mahasiddha, an enlightened being. And he created these six meditations. We call them yogas, but six different meditations. So the primary one, the one at the beginning is what we call Tummo. It is basically Kundalini, Kundalini Yoga. So you use your the fire element of your body and you visualize. I'm not able to describe in detail because uh, it is a secret practice. Uh, and just so that people don't get um, you know, excited about this uh, practice. It's so cool. I want to do it. They just do it for the sake of being cool and not for the true purpose. So I will not go into the details. But basically, you are invoking your uh, inner uh, fire channel in your body. And uh, you prepare yourself. You do certain uh, pranayams, certain breathings. You do certain yoga, certain movements. And you prepare yourself for you know one month, two months. After that, then we go to the Himalayan mountains in Ladakh. And in January, which is the coldest month, the coldest day, which is mid-Jan. Trust me, when I say it's cold in Ladakh, in the mountain, it is extremely. It's like, I'm talking minus 30 actually. I never took a thermometer with me, but I think next time I'll take it. I'll send you a screenshot <laughs> if the phone doesn't freeze. Uh, but I think it must be 25, minus 25 to minus 30, extremely cold. So we depart at uh, seven uh, 11 p.m. And we meditate throughout the night outside in a group of maybe like 5, 10, 15 people, 15 yogis. And we are dressed only with this belt and a special underwear. That's it. And we sit in the snow and we meditate using our breathing, a combination of breathing, a combination of visualization. And um, yeah, that's it. Breathing and visualization. You don't feel cold? You don't feel cold. You actually start sweating. Because your body generates that much heat yes. because of your breathing patterns and your, yeah, visualization. and your visualization. It's so powerful. We don't even chant that time. It's mostly breathing and because we have already prepared yeah, yeah. for a couple of months. And then your body starts to heat up and you start steam, seeing steam and the snow around you melts a little bit. And we finish around 7 a.m. in the morning when the sun is about to rise. And sometimes we wrap um, thin shawls wet shawls around the body to see how many you can dry up uh -huh. so <laughs> it becomes like a mini competition it's a lot of fun actually uh -huh. so you're doing a dry cleaning business i don't know how hygienic it is but you're sitting there minus 30 and uh, people are wrapping you know wet <laughs> it's almost minus 30 they're wrapping wet shawls around you and you have to dry it with your uh, kundalini uh, fire it's like some sort of an exercise for your kundalini yeah i think so Okay. Yeah, to see like, um, it's like a, to measure your, your you know, the heat levels. And the purpose is not to be cool or not to be famous. The purpose is that you use this inner fire to burn your negative emotions mm. and to inflame the fire of compassion and love. Then what happens, and I think I'm allowed to talk about this only until that point, you gain what we call Deva Chinmo. Deva Chinmo means great joy. Your body feels, it's sort of like, honestly, I think I'm not wrong when I say, it's kind of like orgasmic, but it's constant. And you feel this great joy permeating through your body. And you're always happy. You're always kind of like in a high. It's a very weird feeling. But even that's a distraction. Uh, yeah, I mean, it can be the wrong motivation <laughs> for people <laughs> to do it. But then I think uh, if you prepare yourself well, and if you have a good guide, you know not to get caught up with these kind of uh, experiences. Okay. Um, 
so it's basically for spiritual advancement yes. it's an exercise and you test yourself every year to see if you can go further yes okay that's it and i'm sure there's a ton of practices you can't even speak about on the show yes all right yes uh i i don't want to probe much no more. no it's okay i will uh, only speak as much as i feel i'm allowed to all right so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the artist clips Thank you.